Going back deep for Tennessee, number 18, Dale Carter. He returned the second half kickoff last week against Florida. 91 yards for a touchdown. They're an outstanding special teams team. They will run back kicks. They do an excellent job. They spend most of their Thursday practice on returns. Uh, so look for Tennessee to be a very good team in special areas. Philip Doyle will kick off for Alabama. A line drive kick. Carter from the two. Lost the football. Alabama recovers at the 28-yard line. This might be where they go to the all curl at the sticks right here where all the receivers were hooked right around the sticks. Shovel pass to the tight end, Busky. He's hit at the 19-yard line, a yard short of the first down. Philip Doyle, one of the best place kickers in the nation. He's only missed one field goal this year, and you can make it two. Andy Kelly on the first play for the Volunteers tossed it back to Tony Thompson. He didn't make it back to the line of scrimmage. On second and eight. Lassick, the tailback, tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Stan Moss, a sophomore punter from Brent, Alabama. He's a transfer from Texas A&M. the side of his foot and out of bounds near midfield from the standpoint of gene stallings in alabama how much of a letdown that they did not capitalize on the fumble on the opening kickoff well it's early enough that you can override that but still you want to score every chance you get the ball in the scoring territory greg amsel the fullback rambled into the secondary and picked up the first down with a 15-yard gain to the 30-yard line in this football game we have an unbeaten but not untied tennessee team Kelly, good play action. Intercepted. George Teague. Out to midfield for Alabama. Second turnover for the Volunteers. Blocking below the waist. Blocking below the waist. The interception team after the ball has been intercepted. Hollingsworth has some running room but couldn't get away from the tackle. Daryl Hardy again made the stop for Tennessee, and Alabama will be forced to punt. Stan Moss shanks his first punt. This is no beauty either. Almost the exact same kick off the side of his foot and out of bounds along the far sideline. Tennessee first and 10 at the Alabama 36. Mark Adams, the backup tight end with the catch, short of the first down at the 29. Third and three, no score in the first quarter. Reverse, Harper has blockers. Has the first down at the 20. Good effort by Robert Stewart, the middle guard, to force him out of bounds. Antonio London had a chance to get him behind the line of scrimmage, but did not. Thompson inside the 10 with another first down. Amsler tried to go over the top and didn't get close. That's a long way for the fullback Amsler to leap. A 20-yard attempt for Greg Burke. 3-0, Tennessee. Joey Chapman, the punter, handles the kickoffs. Lorenzo Cole, number 40. Lost the football. They're going to say that he was down back at the 17-yard line. The Volunteers think that they have recovered, but Dave Thomas is in for a rude awakening. Alabama facing second and 11. Busky, the tight end. Close to a first down, he has it. They'll spot him out of bounds near the 30. Third and three. Inside of two minutes to play in the first quarter, three nothing balls. Hollingsworth will run for the first down. And that's a late hit. Jeremy Lincoln. Anderson, the true freshman, had 
just that man to beat for the touchdown, but he couldn't slide away from the grasp of the nickelback, Roderick Lewis. The tied one for four on third down conversions. Jones might have picked up the first down with the second effort. This is the tenth play of the Alabama drive. It's a screen, and Anderson thrown down behind the line of scrimmage. Ernest Fields, the junior, read it perfectly and made the big play for Tennessee. And at the moment, they are out of field goal range. Hollingsworth throws, caught for a first down. Donnie Finkley inside the 25 and spotted down to the 22-yard line. 3-0 Tennessee, Alabama on the move, Anderson not on the move. Second and 12. Anderson, thrown for a loss again, this time by Dale Carter. Alabama will try for the field goal, a 30-yard attempt for Philip Doyle. That's good after his earlier miss. And this game is tied at three. Third and one for the balls from their own 29. Thompson didn't get there. John Sullins, the inside linebacker, number 90, made the play for Alabama. Gary Hollingsworth, the ITT Hartford student of the game. Alabama goes to play action this time on first down. Flag down. The catch made by Lamont Russell. That is 23 straight games with at least one reception if the play stands. Back to the run on first down. Jones pulls over a tackler and is close to the first down at the 49 of Tennessee. Robert Jones, a junior from Birmingham, Alabama. It was a first down for Alabama. Martin Houston into the secondary with another first down for Alabama. He's finally taken down to the 35-yard line. First downs picked up on consecutive plays by the tie. 3-3 the score in the second quarter. Houston fumbled and got it back. He dropped the football on the turf, but it bounced right back to him. Tennessee leads the nation in turnover ratio. Jones lost the football as he was wrapped up by Fields. A couple of the Tennessee players tried to pick it up and run with it instead of just falling on it. They may have come up with the football anyway. And they do. Looks like he's changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Amsler. Short of a first down. That's a game of one. And the natives are getting restless. Uh, it just depends on me how well I work out, you know, in the, in the spring and everything. But I'll probably come out for a few practices. How hard is he for looking at a guy like Tony Thompson? Tony's great. You know, he's, he's a senior. He knows everything inside and out. And it's fun watching him play. Lassick has the first down. He crossed midfield. They'll mark him at the 49 of Tennessee. Two seconds left to get the playoff, and they just do beat the play clock. It is shoveled off to Lamont Russell, and he's taken down behind the line of scrimmage by Dave Thomas. Play action on third down. Man open, and it's through the hands of Vaughn Reeves, the tight end. When you win a, or lose a ball game like they lost last week against Texas, you don't recover for a couple weeks. That might be what happened to Oklahoma. Hollingsworth with a flag down. He's down. Sacked by Kerry Bailey. Second and 15. The sack good for a five-yard loss. Out of 2-10 to play in the half. 3-3 three, three the score. Kevin Turner nearly picked up the first down. He's all the way out to the 35. Coming up at halftime, the Rayovac report with Tim Brando. Alabama, three of eight on third down. They pick this one up. The completion out to the 49-yard line to Lamond Russell. On third and 10, Turner and Tennessee was not fooled. The first hit from Daryl Hardy. Tennessee looks like they're just going to kill the clock. Indeed, they will. 96,000 fans booing the 
unbeaten volunteers as they leave the field. One field goal for each side, and at the half, we're tied at three. Coming up next, the Rayovac Halftime Report with Tim Brando. <laughs> On third and two. Across the line of scrimmage with Sean Walker, and flags fly. I did not detect any movement along the Alabama offensive line. No, I think Sean Walker may have been affected by the way Gary Hollingsworth called to play. He may have put emphasis on something and uh, drew Sean Walker. That's what it was, offside on Walker. <laughs> Hollingsworth guns it to the wide open Busky. And what a tough run by Busky after the catch. He plowed forward for an extra seven or eight yards. All the way to the 27-yard line. We've played nearly four minutes of the third quarter. 3-3 three, three the score. Robert Jones has room along the sideline. He's knocked out of bounds inside the 17 by Dale Carter. An impressive drive by the Tide to start the second half. Jones, big hole, down to the 10-yard line. Third down, nearly two for the first down. Into the end zone, incomplete. Intended for Busky, Roderick Lewis had the coverage. A 26-yard field goal attempt for Philip Doyle to give Bama the lead. It is good, he's two for three today. And the Tide is back on top, six to three. Tennessee must now try to get the ball to Alvin Harper. They need to try to get it to Anthony Morgan and Carl Pickens, the wide receivers. The ball needs to get in their hands. On the ground with Thompson. A gain of seven on the first play from scrimmage of the second half for Tennessee. Larry Curry has not played very much in this football game. On second and three, pulls the fullback. First down, he pulls across midfield. Kelly hit as he threw it. Dropped right into the hands of Derek Oden. He couldn't have asked for an easier interception, but he dropped it. Pretty good kick. And the falls. Where will they mark it down? A touchback. Whoa! The official changing his mind in midstream started a signal touchback. Then says, down here inside the one. On third and nine. Hollingsworth the throw out of his own end zone. He's out to the two. But it clearly appeared that Hardy goes into the end zone with the ball. Never did down it at the one or inside the one. The official started to signal touchback, then changed his mind. And that could be a turning point in this football game, although Tennessee does not take advantage of its excellent field position on first down. Thompson stopped for a loss, and a flag flies away from the tackle along the near sideline after the play. Third down. 15 yards to go for Tennessee first down. Kelly lobbing it deep down the middle and intercepted. Antonio Langham brought it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Some great games on Saturday, I'll tell you. On third down and nearly 10, it is nearly intercepted. Through the hands of Jeremy Lincoln. That was the game in which Andy Kelly established himself as the number one quarterback in Tennessee. He's been replaced by Sterling Henton, who completes his first pass to Mark Adams. Henton, in relief of Kelly, Major's offensive coordinator Phil Fulmer says that Henton has given Tennessee a spark off the bench in the pass. This time it's Poles for the first down. The loser of that one is likely out of the national championship picture. Tennessee trying to stay in that picture perhaps. Henton threw it into the ground. He was pressured. George Thornton knocked him down after he threw it away. A reverse. Look for a pass here. 
It is nearly intercepted. Some type of draw here, maybe a shovel draw. Hollingsworth under pressure and thrown down back of the 13-yard line. Kerry Bailey made the hit. We mentioned Tennessee's 12-game unbeaten streak, the last team to beat them, Alabama, last year at Alabama. Quick hitter complete. That is the first completion to a Tennessee wide receiver today, Carl Pickens. He's got to have Jim Brock a little worried down there in the uh, bowl game situation for the Cotton Bowl. Kenton dumps it off for Moore. Flag down on the far side of the field. If the play stands, it's a first down for Tennessee at the 25. Well, the important words will come out of the mouth of Jimmy Harper. Tennessee a woeful 2 of 10 on third down. Thornton with the sack. George Thornton threw Henton down back at the 45-yard line. Play action screen. Jones. Has the first down, lost the football. Recovered by Tennessee at the 33-yard line. That's a third down situation. I believe he's the quarterback to get him in the end zone. It's, it has to be Andy Kelly. I think it's a good move putting him back in. No back set. Kelly, man open and complete. The ball was a bit behind Carl Pickens, and the sophomore couldn't come up with it. They're going to try to tie it with a long field goal here. A 51-yarder. Burke has had a disappointing year. This could turn it around for him in a hurry. It's good! This is the second largest stadium in college football behind Old Michigan. Hollingsworth had to throw it away. 6-6 the score with 9.05 remaining. Williamson. Short, wobbly kick. Carter on the run. And down at the 49. Anything can happen. So watch the Grand Prix of Japan Sunday morning at 8.30 Eastern. Kelly complete. Two Vaughn Reeves close to a first down in Alabama territory at the 43. And the ball's run in this direction. Thompson picked up the first down. Out of bounds at the 39. One of the best high jumpers in the SEC as well. Member of the Tennessee track team. Third and 15. Kelly with a long way to run. He won't get the first down. He is back in Greg Burke field goal range, you would think. This will be a 52-yard try. The 51-yarder moments ago was a career long. This one is just short. We've seen him along the sidelines, and Neil Lomax, who played with Stallings, told us before the game he is very much a hands-on coach on the sideline. Gets very actively involved in the play calling. Down goes Hollingsworth. Chris Mims the sack. Second and four for the balls. 5-17 remaining. Quarterback draw. Hampton. First down in Alabama territory at the 46-yard line. Hampton trying to get away from Spencer Hammond. Going deep. Jump ball. And broken up. Stacy Harrison knocked it down. And it's the quarterback, Kelly, who's in the punt. He has punted once today for 41 yards. That's a shame. They get a bounce. He does. Perhaps too much of a bounce. No. Down at the one-yard line. Alabama has not had a first down since the five-minute mark of the third quarter. Hollingsworth threw incomplete. Pressured as he threw. Williamson. Hunter's got to be very careful he doesn't step back. Good kick. Carter at the 47. Trying to get outside. He was able to.
to turn the corner, and he went out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Screen, Vince Moore. Can't shake the tackle. Ephraim Thomas, a huge defensive play, dropping Moore for a loss. Watch the rush up inside. A 50-yard attempt to give Tennessee the lead. It is blocked! did not run to the middle. He's close to the right hash mark. Stopped at the 30. And that will set up a game-winning field goal try by Philip Doyle. Yep, they're going to let him kick it. A 47-yarder to win it for Alabama. It is good! Is that a flag on the field right here? Roughing the kicker. So this game's over anyway. 